And that's what I had to do when I lost my brother this past year, right? It was devastating. And there's still pain. I can't pretend like there's not. But how lucky was I to have him as my brother for that long? And so my heart also opens up with that gratitude that, you know, my life was blessed because of this person that taught me so much about myself. Mm. And I wouldn't be the person I am today if my brother wasn't part of my life. And so I can have both feelings, still miss him and feel sad, but also feel so grateful and so happy. And that's what I chose to unpack. Now that had nothing to do with you or anybody else around me. I had to sit and unpack that for myself as I navigated the situation, Mm -hmm. right? And so these steps work, whether you're engaged with someone else or it's something like that, where it's not exactly like you can go up to the person and engage with them and say, you made me feel this way, right? It is, I can sit and I can create the pause and I can unpack what it's about and I can look at different perspectives and then I can choose where to put it away. Yeah. It's, thank you for sharing that. That's beautifully said. And if more people instead of pointing fingers like you made me feel this way maybe just ask like hey is this is this what you intended because maybe they didn't mm-hmm. and that's such a key f- i mean that's that's a huge adjustment we just asked instead of assumed that could make a world of difference because yeah, maybe we might find some people who are looking to silence us or making us feel that. But if you ask that to them, and then that's a, now it's on them to understand, well, did I? Now that's causing a reflection, which is so important. That may be exactly what that person needed in that moment. That's a beautiful thing too. I mean, maybe that might adjust the whole way that they view communication just after that simple question, because. Maybe it was all. Maybe it wasn't necessarily intended. Maybe it, it you know, subconsciously or, or you know, subconsciously came out that way. But maybe consciously, they're attempting to mask a part of themselves that they're not happy with. And then they realize, wow, I'm here. I am being a bull here, being mean, or you know, putting other people down. But I'm the one who feels hurt. I'm the one who feels the pain. And so I just want to connect. So I want other people to feel that. So I can actually feel connected. Maybe that isn't the best way. Maybe I can feel connected to people through joy and through love and through care and through happiness and and there are other ways. But if we don't ask that question, instead of taking everything, you know, personally, trust me, it's hard to do. (laughs) I'm not saying this is easier said, you know, this is easier said than done. Um, you know, there's a reason why it's not, oh, it's just as easy as said as done. <laughs> it's, that's not quite the statement, you know. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, but it's just that opportunity for us to just to start to act, like, you know, just ask, like, hey, is this what you intended? Giving them grace, giving yourself grace, allowing that feeling to occur, allowing the perspective to be experienced, allowing a pause to happen, and then everyone can get on the same page in a matter of seconds.